When you wake up from the operation, you'll be in a room called the recovery. If your child is having the surgery, then you'll be invited down once they're awake enough so that you can see them and look after them yourself. They may be a little bit drowsy or a little bit woozy from the anaesthetic drugs. You may not remember much about being in the recovery area. Once you're awake enough, we'll transfer you back up to the ward where the nursing team will be ready to look after you. You'll have the bandage on protecting your ear. It usually comes off the following morning, either at home or in hospital before you're discharged home. After your operation, you might go home the same day or stay one night in hospital. Depending on what time of day your operation finishes will usually determine whether you need to stay overnight afterwards. The operation site will usually be sore for seven to 10 days afterwards, and we encourage you to take simple painkillers for that time. Before you're discharged home, all of this will be explained to you by the nurses looking after you. To reduce the chance of infection, one important thing we ask is that you keep your ear and the wound dry afterwards for a little while. You cannot wash your hair, but you can use dry shampoo. Your surgeon will explain how many days they want you to keep the ear dry for. Depending on your surgeon, you may have some white sticky dressings over the wound to protect it while it heals up. These can stay on until you come back to clinic to see us. Once you're well enough, you'll be allowed to go home. We will make a follow-up appointment for you 7 to 14 days after your surgery. While you are recovering, if you get any concerns or you have any unexpected symptoms such as worsening pain, fever or severe dizziness, then please contact the implant administration team and we'll be able to advise you. Thank you for your attention. We hope that watching these films has helped improve your understanding of the cochlear implant operation.